Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. And double honors to the apostles. The elders of Great Millstone, they continually rule very well. And Shalom to the hopefully elect that's also um, spreading forth this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in our faith, truth, and sincerity. Now, um, this video is going to be um, raw and uncut. And the topic of this video is going to be entitled um, But whatever the Lord had me to title it as I might title it as um, It's 2017 And You still don't know what the market, market of beasts is Or The ones that have been blinded Or whatever the spirit had me to title this video But um, you know, the spirit jumped on me to uh do this particular video, man, because you know, um, uh, the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles, apostles, and the elders, and the rest of the um, the brothers that is in uh, Great Millstone, we've been pushing the uh, market of beasts for for years, man, even before we um, some of us came into this thing. Now you had the um, the apostles and the elders out on the highways and byways prophesying about uh, the market of beasts, and ever since then they uh, they've taught that the market of beasts is the RFID microchip, which that is it, that is the market of beasts. It's the RFID microchip. Yes, indeed, it is it is the market of beasts. You know that's that's um, plain to see. But the thing is, is that only the righteous are able to see that alright you know it's plain it's plain to us who are of the righteous alright who is of uh, us and the sincere brothers you know the ones that um, really believe in this thing this thing of ours you know we, we plainly see it but the rest of the people don't see it alright that also goes with scripture about an anointing Anointing your eyes with uh, eye salve, so that you may see. You see, the majority of the people that that is um here in America don't have that eye salve. All right, they're not able to see it. Uh, that reminds me of that movie, um, They Live. All right, where the guy had to um put on the glasses, and when he put on the glasses, he saw all you know all kinds of uh imagery, you know, marketing, uh, marketing scandals and, and and stuff of that nature, man. So we have the we have the spiritual glasses, man. We we're able to see it. Okay, but the rest of the people they can't see it. Especially the other Israelite camps, they can't see it, man. Alright. And you know we get on these guys for a reason. Alright, because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is working is working with the men of Great Millstone. And that spirit is uh rebuking um, and, ex and exhorting with all all long suffering and um, roughly paraphrasing, rebuking, reproving, and, and exhorting with all the suffering and doctrine, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the reason why we get on these guys. We rebuke them, tell them that this is the RFID microchip, the microchip technology. That's the mark of the beast, and you see it everywhere, man. All right, you see it everywhere, man. You see it in your, in your um your supermarkets. All right, you see it in um you know these malls. All right, you see it at work. Because there's there's a lot of brothers that have uh, witnessed that, man. All right, I know one particular brother in our camp. Uh, he he spoke he spoke about it, man. He spoke he spoke about the uh, the microchip technology. You know, slowly but surely making his way to uh, where he works at, and he he works in um in uh, pharmacy. You know, I'm not gonna throw his name out there, but yeah, he knows who I'm talking about. Yeah, he works in the in the pharmacy um division, right? And um they need, you know, they they they're pretty much heading towards the uh, that technology, man, which is the market of beast. Okay, so here it is, man. It's 2017, and these guys still don't know. 
anything about the market of beast. They still think it's Christianity. They still think it's uh, an embargo. They still think it's white supremacy. All right. Yet, when you go into the scriptures, it's, it's plain as day, man. All right. Because they can't, they can't. They're well. First and foremost, they can't go into inside the scriptures and and, and um, break it down correctly. They might get some things right, but you know, as far as the mark of the beast is concerned, they're not able to um, interpret that, man. Why is that? Because the spirit of blindness is upon them. All right, to where they can't see, man, and also the spirit of slumber. Okay. And so, uh, I want to go ahead and read this precept right here, which um, further clarifies uh, what I'm talking about. Because Yahweh by Shemuel Shai has it to where um, these guys are set up to um, pretty much lead the the, the sh um, lead these Jake astray. Okay, now there's uh, Isaiah. Chapter 29, verse 10. It says, For Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And that's true, man. And that goes for uh, these Jake that are uh, running to it towards these guys, right? And I'm um, thinking that they're they're the um they have 100 percent of the truth. And yet they're going off in their doctrine about for one thing, the mark of the beast. Uh, Cornelius, the Gentiles, they're going off on, on those scriptures, and, and, and you have Jake that's actually running running to these guys, man. So it said, For Yahweh by Shem Shai, I poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and I closed your eyes. And see, the Lord, that's, and that's exactly what the Lord did. He closed their eyes to where they're not able to, to see what the mark of the beast really is, man. They're not able to. To see that it is the RFID microchip, and these other, um, also these, uh, it's lucky. Now I'm in transit right now, so like you, um, especially, uh, you know, dot the um, other topics that we're going to, like the Gentiles, the Cornelius issue. The Lord pretty much put them to sleep and blinded them to where they can't, you know, they can't see it, man. All right. And it says, uh, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, had thee covered. Okay. So they can't see who the true men of the Lord are, man. All right. And all the way to figure out who the true men of the Lord are, are is through the spirit and not just the spirit and you know just because people say well it's through the spirit that you know it led me to general yohana and you know that, uh, no man it has to be through the spirit of yahweh by hashem yahweh shai that they have to lead you to the truth the 100 percent truth man because truth is truth no matter what man there's there's no 98 percent 95 percent you know 90 percent it's 100 percent man that is either truth or li or a lie you know you can't it's no gray area in that. All right. So with that, man, that's all I want to bring out in this uh, this lesson. You know, like I said before, you know, it's 2017. These guys are still hung up on the mark of the beast. They don't know. They have no clue what it is. And to the rest of you, Akim, that's um, by any chance uh, tuning in, hey, man, it's the look, just stay away from them guys, man. All right, and um, start listening in on the on the videos of the men of Great Millstone. All right, and uh, we say that with confidence, man. There's no, you know, we're not boasting anything like that, but you know, it's just through the spirit. Okay. So with that, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule well. And peace and safety to the Hopefully Lake that is um, also um, doing this work. 
also tending to the flock, uh, participating in his ministry directly and correctly in all faith, truth, sincerity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.